The only one that can rev up Prime's engine. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Elita 1. So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a lovely image of Elita 1 in her alt mode. Her name is Elita 1 Transformers. She is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class, and a Class, and a Luxe. And on top, I just killed her. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. On this side of the box, we have the lovely legacy artwork. On this side, we have some more artwork of Elita 1 herself up top. Legacy on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And you have a QR code. You want to scan it, go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Alita 1, a new fembot in this legacy line. And here she is in her robot mode, is always packed in robot mode. But yeah, looks pretty good in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at her abs, but at her noggin. There's her noggin. You can see a nice Alita face sculpt. I do have a bit of a, a little bit of a pink nick. On her nose there, it's okay, battle damage, that's all battle damage, but you got some nice silver there on the forehead, little white horns, a little butt symbol there on the chest. Overall, I do quite like the design of her. I think she looks quite good. Her big old feet, and moving up the back, got the Alita booty. You know, she's got a bit of backpack going on there, but all in all, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, I believe the head is on a ball joint. I think you don't get too much wiggly-waggly. Um, she can't really look up. She can look down ever so slightly. Head can do a full 360. It's quite snug on my copy. Um, the arms can do a full 360. Of course, the backpack kind of gets in the way. Outward movements. Yeah, bicep rotation. You have over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, which is nice. You have wrist rotation, waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward that far. Yeah, thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet. They can't move up, can't move down, but you do have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, she includes a pair of blasters here. They are two separate designs here, done in transparent blue. Wish they were painted, but they look kind of cool in the transparent blue. So you get two of these. Now, a couple things you can do with these. You can... Uh, Attach them to the uh, the backpack here for storage, if that's a thing you want to do. Hey, not the most elegant, but it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. She does have ports under her forearms here, so you can plug these in like that, have them kind of underslung. That looks kind of cool. Um, hey, you know what? You can even you, you can even plug them down here because ankle guns. Why not ankle guns? Dare I say, why not? But what you can do, the most common thing to do, the most normal thing to do, you know, for you know space robots, is to hold them in her hands. Thusly, and she can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And yes, the guns are bluish compatible. Yes, they are bluish compatible. Oh yes, oh yes. We can just plug them on like so, and like so. And we can do a big old double Alita bluish. That Alita blue, that's right. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 yes. And a note about her backpack here. Um, If you don't like these bits just sticking up like that, a couple things you can do about it. You can always just uh, rotate them back like so. Have that look going on if you want to. Or if you don't like that, you can always just uh, bring this up and then just rotate these down. Basically, just get them into their car mode configuration. Bring them back like that, collapse all this back down, and you can have that look going on. That compacts everything a lot more. So, hey, things you can do if you want to do it. You have the option, and as always, options are good. And now for comparison. Here she is with RC. And with RC. With the Netflix. Elita 1, with the Power of the Primes, 
Alita One. This is when uh, when she was when when she was working out. This is the uh, the Rhea Ripley version of Alita One. And last but not least, here she is with Earthrise Prime. And don't they make a cute couple? Oh, precious. So there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing we need to do is we need to work on the uh, the backpack here. So take this hood section here. Just bring that up like so. And you're going to take these wheel well sections and just rotate them down. They will sit there. You have a little tab slot connection right there. Just push that in. We'll get everything more squared up a bit later. So it's okay if things are not sitting perfectly flush right now. So just bring this out and down. You want to bring this up so you can flip out this section of the roof right here. And all of this is on a double hinge right behind her neck. So you just want to bring this down and all that will situate itself like so. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take the arm, rotate it in at the bicep, and then rotate the hand out. So it's like that. Second verse, just like the first. Just rotate that in. Rotate that out. And what's going to happen now is you have this tab right here, which is going to go basically into our elbow. Then you have a tab on the forearm that will tab up into this section right here. Just bring that up, and that should just all tab right into place and sit flush like that. And of course, second verse is just like the first. Just tab that in, bring that up, like that. And now you can get everything nice and squozen. And there you have the front of the car all done. So now you're going to rotate her at the waist, like so. You gotta tab the legs together. It is a T-tab here, so just kind of slide one into the other, like so. And uh, actually, before you do that, you want to flip out these sections here. Use the sides of the uh, spoiler. Flip that out. Now, bring those together like so. Now you're going to take the shin sections, bring them out, bring them out. And what's going to happen here is you have tabs that will go into slots here. And this tab will go basically into this notch right here where the mushroom peg is. So just line that up and tab everything in. And bring that in. Just line that up. Tab it in. Plug it in like so. And the last thing to do is take her feet and just rotate them in. That basically makes like thrusters here on the back of the car. And again, just get it all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Alita One in her alt mode. Oh, get back here, girl. And it's a cool looking little car mode. It's very compact. It's very cute. It's a cute, it's a cute little car mode. I do quite like it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details that the camera will focus. There we go. You can see nice pink and red and white color scheme going on there. Nice transparent windshield. I love that the top of her head is just poking out the top. This is a separate piece. You can remove this if you want. If you don't like it, you can just pop it right off if you don't care for it. But it is accurate to have the top of her head just poking out like that. You, yeah, it's, it's the way it's supposed to be. You got the rims there done in white. Spoiler back there. You got thrusters in the back. There is the top. There is the bottom. She has visible head syndrome. She does have visible head. It's technically still visible head syndrome either way. So it's visible everything syndrome down here. But, you know, hey, she rolls as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. Then, for comparison, here she is with Earthrise RC. Then, here she is with Earthrise Prime. And here it is with the Netflix Alita One, so you can see how that works out. So, there you go! Now, as far as weapon storage goes, you can store the weapons on the old mode now. Again, if you want, you can pop off the uh, top of her head here. Um, the guns can combine. You just plug them together like so. You can plug all this right here on the top of the car. Thing you can do if you want to do it, or if not, you can plug them right back here via these ports if you wish. Whoops, I just popped off her foot. How dare you, Alita? How dare your foot just pop off? But anyway, you can do that if you want. You can plug them here if you want. You have that port as well. You have this port right here also. Hey, options, options. They're good. You know how it works. I'm going to put the top of her head back on because I personally like that. 
I think it's adorable. But again, all things you can do if you want to know it. And are those thrusters bluish compatible? You know what? I haven't even tried yet. Let's see. Oh, they are. Yes, they are. They totally are. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. They're a little too. Let me have to shorten these up a bit. Make it work a little bit better. There we go. There we go. There you go. Now she can bloosh off into battle. So there you go. So there you have Alita 1, and uh, yeah, I like her. I think she's a quite nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, the robot mode looks good. I like the design. I think the alt mode looks precious. Transformation is enjoyable. Just overall a pretty solid, fun figure, as far as I'm concerned. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other legacy figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Alita 1, and this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! I'm glad you could finally make it, Alita. And trust me, I've spared no expense in making your stay as comfortable as possible. <laughs> of course, you could always stay in my quarters if you'd like. Then we're gonna forget I said that. So, uh, Wheeljack made a tennis court, I'll show you that.